We want to perform the indicated operation of subtraction, but to do that we need a common denominator. But if we factor the difference of squares in the second denominator, we can see the common denominator will have two factors. This fraction is missing the factor of x plus 5, so we multiply the numerator and the denominator by x plus 5. This fraction is missing the factor of x minus 5, so we multiply numerator and denominator by x minus 5. In the numerator here, that gives us x squared minus 4x plus 5x is plus x minus 20 over the common denominator. Then we have minus here, we'll have 3x minus 15 over the common denominator. And then we have minus 10 over the common denominator. So we want to put that all together over the common denominator. So we have x squared plus x minus 20. Then minus 3x, but remember minus a negative becomes plus 15 and then minus 10 for our third fraction. So we put them all over the common denominator. Combining the numerator or simplifying, we have x squared minus 2x minus 15 over x minus 5 times x plus 5. And in this case, we can factor the numerator into x minus 5 times x plus 3 over our common denominator and see that we have a common factor of x minus 5, so we can cancel that, just leaving the x plus 3 in the numerator and the x plus 5 in our denominator.